The Karate Kid was a truly groundbreaking film. Released in 2010, the movie was a remake of the 1984 cult classic which bore the same name. And I think it's safe to say that you don't often get to see a sequel that's just as good as the original. With an impressive cast that included Jaden Smith, Jackie Chan, and others, The Karate Kid was a family film that told the story of Dre Parker, who moved to China with his mother. And there he met up with Mr. Han, who trained him in the ancient karate way. A lifelong friendship was forced, with Dre and Mr. Han working through some of their personal issues together, and of course, Dre won a national karate competition in the process. And the movie inspired a generation of new martial artists. Just as well, The Karate Kid also helped to propel careers of many of its cast members. And so how are these cast members doing 13 years after the film was released in theaters? We'll be looking at a few of them, their individual careers and lives, as well as what they're doing today. Join us to see how the Karate Kid actors have changed today. Luke Carberry We begin the video with Luke Carberry, an American actor who had spent a significant portion of his life in China at the time that he had gotten the call to play Harry in The Karate Kid. I don't know, we could like, it was, since we're like two kids, not all like grown ups, we could like joke and like, you know, make, you like have fun, I guess, and like, that it was cool, yeah, to get like with other stuff. Born in the United States in 1996, Luke and his family traveled to China when he was just five years old. He studied at the Western Academy of Beijing for 12 years, beginning in grade one in 2002, and up until he graduated from the institution in 2014. He had been majoring in Mandarin Chinese when he was tapped to play Harry, essentially the only American friend that Dre had in the film. Luke made quite the splash in The Karate Kid, and I have to say, he definitely killed his role. However, for some reason, he's failed to do much in Hollywood ever since. If you see his IMDb page, you'll find that his only credit is The Karate Kid, as well as a television series that was based on the movie's premiere. Of course, that's not to say that he isn't doing well. Luke seems to be a lover of travel, with his social media pages showing different trips that he's taken so far. Now, we don't know much about what's going on in his life, but I sure hope that he's doing okay. Yi Zhao Another actor that killed the material despite having just a small amount of screen time is Yi Zhao, who played the role of Zhang in The Karate Kid. Zhang is pretty much a bully, and he was friends with Cheng, the main antagonist in the film. You know how it goes, Cheng was the big bad dog in the yard, and Zhang pretty much just fed off his buddy's vibes. Yi would be born in China in May of 1996, and from an early age, he had actually discovered his love for martial arts and was pursuing it actively. Besides acting, he had become quite the martial artist himself, so it was easy for him to balance his martial arts with his role in The Karate Kid. Before his acting career, he had appeared in The King of Wrestlers, a 2005 film directed by James Jim C. Ha, which revolved around the same martial arts theme. The King of Wrestlers and The Karate Kid have been Yi's only acting credits to date, and like Luke, he also appears to be keeping a relatively low profile away from the glitz and glamour of the acting world. He does appear to still be involved in martial arts, so who knows, he could actually be a big name overseas. Shijia Lu Shijia Lu was only 11 years old when he played the role of Lang in The Karate Kid. Born in March of 1995, the Chinese actor had also developed a love for martial arts when he was much younger. And that's pretty much a given for any Chinese actor at this point, it would seem. He did a pretty good job of playing his character in the film and didn't have a whole lot of screen time, although he did put quite the hurt on Dre in the final karate competition following the instructions of his master. Master Li said that he wanted Dre broken, and boy did Lang deliver. After he was done with almost breaking the little boy's legs on the Karate Kid, he then continued to make a few appearances, he played a role in a Chinese production, Go Away Mr. Tamur, and he also worked as a stuntman in 2016's Skip Trace and 2017's The Foreigner, both of which starred Jackie Chan. For him to have impressed Jackie Chan, his stuntman skills were surely top-notch. Besides acting and martial arts, he's also an avid fencing enthusiast, so we may just as well see him do a few fencing stunts soon, or even perform in the Olympics. 
Wen Wen Han. Every Karate Kid needs a love interest, and in this film, Dre's love interest was Ma Ying, a girl that he had met in China after he had moved to the country. The role of Ma Ying was accurately portrayed by Wen Wen Han, a Chinese actress, dancer, and musician. Born in August of 1995, she would be raised in China where she went to school and built up her passion for acting and the general performing arts. However, as Wen Wen herself said, she was more interested in dancing and playing the violin than she was in acting. Nevertheless, the silver screen called, and we all know the drill, when the acting profession calls, you answer. Fluent in both Mandarin, Chinese, and English, Wen Wen had already built quite the profile as a young and upcoming actress in China, and before she even got the Karate Kid part, she had played a role in a television series that had premiered in 2007. She eventually got the Karate Kid part, and she definitely killed it. Ma Ying and Dre made a pretty cute couple on screen, and generally made everyone's hearts melt. English, um... Ni hao mao... Xu Xian Muji. <laughs> what language you miss that? You speak English? Me too. <laughs> Besides her acting chops, Wen Wen has also had the chance to show off some of her other talents as well. After her work on The Karate Kid, Wen Wen also appeared to lay low and stay out of the public eye. She did have two small acting roles, but none of them really got any kind of publicity. On a more personal side, she got married to Ken Chu, a Taiwanese singer, actor, and cook back in 2018, so it looks like her life is thriving. Rong Guang Yu Also known as Ringo Yu, Rong Guang took on the role of Master Li in The Karate Kid. The enigmatic, stern Master Lee was actually one of the most compelling characters in the entire film. He was always walking around with a menacing stare, giving off proper villain vibes. Yu was born in 1958 in Beijing, China, and is one of the most famous Chinese acting experts. He's been active since at least 1985, and so far has over a hundred acting roles to his name. The actor has also tried his hand at filmmaking and directing, along with producing, so he's pretty versatile when it comes to the movie industry. After acting for several years in mostly local productions, he would eventually get his big break in 1993's Iron Monkey a movie about a local folk hero who donned a mask and fought injustice by stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, which was essentially China's version of Robin Hood. The movie, which also starred Donnie Yen, catapulted his career, and he's really never looked back. As a matter of fact, he's appeared in at least one project from 1991 to date. And that's an insane work rate for a man who's 65 years old, and I'm pretty sure that he's somewhere right now speaking to a casting director about extending his movie streak. Besides The Karate Kid, Yu has actually appeared in several other titles along with Jackie Chan. These include movies like 2004's New Police Story, 2005's The Myth, and 2000's Shanghai Noon. So I guess it wasn't much of a surprise to see him play along with his longtime collaborator again on The Karate Kid. As said before, Yu has had significant success, even after The Karate Kid, appearing in several films including Ip Man, Legend of the Three Kingdoms, and Restart the Earth. However, it appears that a lot of the films he's appeared in are more in his homeland of China than they are in the international market. I just wonder if the Chinese have their own version of the Oscars, and if Yu has won any, because with such a work rate, it would be strange for him not to have the major accolades. Zhen Wei Wang like you, Zhen Wei Wang was given the incredible difficult task of playing a villain in The Karate Kid. In fact, in his role as Cheng, he played the ultimate villain, being a rival to Dre both on the karate mat and in the heart of Mei Ying. 
Considering how successful the movie was, I think it's safe to say that the guy did a pretty good job. His portrayal of Cheng was impressive to say the least, and that doesn't even get started on his martial arts skills. You can see just how he took out one of these mohawk wearing oppositions with ease. Or when he mopped the floor with Dre. Sure, the fight happened while Dre was untrained, but even still, yikes. Zhen Wei was born in October of 1995 in one of China's top industrial centers, and when he was just 14 years old, he attended Beijing Amateur Sports School, where he picked up a passion for martial arts. Reports would say that his father had actually sent him to the school because he was weak and sickly, so it seemed that he just wanted to pick up martial arts to prove to his father that he wasn't. Zhen Wei eventually went on to further his education in Beijing, and it was there that he would appear to also develop some passion for acting as well as stunt work. While he had not gotten any acting roles before, the Karate Kid came along, he definitely was one of the film's standout performers. And after he was finished with that project, he went on to star in a few other movies as well, which included 2017's Kung Fu Yoga, 2019's Iron Mask, and 2020's Vanguard another film that starred Jackie Chan. He's credited as a stunt performer on Marvel's Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Zhen Wei is a black belt holder in martial arts, focusing more on karate and wushu, or what we, the uninitiated, might call kung fu. At 27 years old, Zhen Wei continues to show his acting and martial arts chops at every point that he can. He's already slated to perform in two films this coming year, so he's definitely somebody to look out for. Jackie Chan Where can one begin even talking about Jackie Chan? Is there really anything that you could say about him that's not been said already? Jackie Chan is one of the greatest actors and martial artists of our time. He's been active in the entertainment industry since the 1960s and has well over 150 movie credits to his name, in addition to 60 producer credits and other roles as a stuntman. This man has definitely seen and done it all. Jackie Chan played the role of Mr. Han in The Karate Kid, and I think it's safe to say that he was the emotional heart and soul of the film. In Mr. Han, we got to see a man who had essentially been beaten to a pulp by life, but who still managed to get the will to enjoy his life once again thanks to meeting with Dre. And even though he was pretty old, Jackie definitely took us all back to the vintage days with some impressive fighting of his own. Back to Jackie, he was born in Hong Kong in 1964 and is a legendary actor, stuntman, and martial artist. Interestingly, however, his real name isn't actually Chan. Yeah, little bit, I'm not Chan. Right. My or original name is not Chan. No. Because everybody called me Jackie Chan for like a right. 40 years. But now my father said, your name is not Chan, it's Fang. I said, what? Then I put out, I, I call my, my friend, is a documentary director, to put up the camera, then I, now I said, Father, I can talk. You can file that one under the interesting facts that you didn't know you'd hear today. Jackie was born in Hong Kong and lived most of his early life there, and he even enrolled at the China Drama Academy in Peking. It was there that he would hone his craft, mixing his acting and martial arts skills. His movie career would begin in 1962 with some small roles, and just 10 years later in 1972, he appeared in Fist of Fury, a movie by another famous martial artist, Bruce Lee. He appeared in many other Bruce Lee flicks, including Enter the Dragon just a year later. Over the years, Jackie became known for his fun-filled and light-hearted approach to martial arts, which was easily noticeable in his films. He had become the world's most popular action movie star by the mid-90s, and in the early 2000s, he helped to create a PlayStation game, Jackie Chan Stuntmaster. You know you've made it when there's an entire game named after you. Following the success of Rush Hour in 1998 and Shanghai Noon in 2002, Jackie finally broke into Hollywood, and he never looked back. He even had more success with movies like The Tuxedo, The Medallion, and Around the World in 80 Days, all coming between the years of 2000 and 2004 alone. 
With such a lengthy career and over 150 films to his name, it's no wonder that Jackie is one of the most successful movie stars ever. As of 2021, his movies have grossed over $2.1 billion in China and another $2.4 billion in the United States and Canada. Besides his movies, Jackie has also dabbled in music and academia. He's taken a bit of a step back from acting, and he's getting old, but his place as one of the greatest actors ever is more than solidified. Jackie Chan is one of the most recognizable faces in the world, and with his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and Hong Kong's famed Avenue of Stars, his legacy will be cemented in the hearts of everyone forever. Taraji P. Henson Taraji P. Henson played the role of Sherry Parker, Dre's mom in The Karate Kid, and nailed the role, delivering an impressive performance that easily stood out amongst everyone else. To be fair, she had had quite the interesting career. Born in 1970 in Washington, D.C., she had actually been pretty active in Hollywood since the late 90s. However, most of her roles were largely small ones and in television series. From Sister Sister to ER and Pacific Blue, she had been putting her mark on Hollywood for quite some time. However, her breakthrough would eventually come in 2001 when she played the role of Yvette in a film called Baby Boy, which also starred Tyrese Gibson and Snoop Dogg. In 2005, she appeared in an independent film called Hustle and Flow, where she also made her singing debut. That film would go on to become a massive success with two Academy Award nominations and one Academy Award win. She also appeared with Brad Pitt in 2008's The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, a role which would land her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. With her career on a rocket ship, it was a no-brainer for her to be cast in The Karate Kid, and she nailed the role perfectly. After The Karate Kid, she continued to make her mark on the movie scene. From Taken From Me, the Tiffany Rubin story, to Think Like a Man, she's become one of Hollywood's most bankable actresses. And who could forget her powerful portrayal of Katherine G. Johnson, a NASA mathematician who helped put Neil Armstrong on the moon, in 2016's wildly successful movie Hidden Figures. There is no bathroom. There are no colored bathrooms in this building or any building outside the West Campus, which is half a mile away. Did you know that? I have to walk to Timbuktu just to relieve myself, and I can't use one of the handy bikes. And besides her work on the silver screen, she's also taken on some impressive television series roles as well. We all know her role as Cookie on the series Empire. Sons, bitch. Three sons. I had a miscarriage. I went to jail for 17 years, so you can bail this. One of the most celebrated actresses of our time, her trophy hall includes a SAG Award, multiple BET Awards, an NAACP Image Award, a Golden Globe, and even a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Jaden Smith. Now to the man himself. Playing the central character of Dre, there's Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith is an acting prodigy. His father, Will Smith, is one of the most celebrated and charismatic actors and musicians of our time, and his mother, Jada Pinkett Smith, also has quite the movie resume to boast of for her own. Born Jaden Christopher Sire Smith in 1998, he was pretty much set to be a prodigy, considering his parents, and befitting someone of his status, acting roles came to him as soon as he could walk. From an incredibly young age, Jaden had already become quite the entertainer. His first role came in 2006 when he acted alongside of his father in The Pursuit of Happiness. Will was the star of the film, but Jaden had some impressive scene-stealing moments as well. For his role, Jaden won the award for breakthrough performance at the 2007 MTV Movie Awards. From then on, he became a star, and his next acting role came in 2008's The Day the Earth Stood Still an apocalyptic thriller starring Keanu Reeves and Kathy Bates. But he also became a worldwide name due to The Karate Kid. You don't care what's wrong. What you care about is how happy I am and how great the ice cream is. Well, I'm not happy. I hate it here. He was just 11 years old and already had his entire career in front of him. Following The Karate Kid, Jaden appeared in After Earth, Another film that starred him and his father, which was made by M. Night Shyamalan, but that movie kind of bombed and didn't get the type of reviews they were hoping for. 
A few other roles would follow, but I think it's pretty clear that Jaden is not necessarily the acting type. Where he does have talent, however, is in his music. Jaden has been rapping and singing ever since he was 10 years old and performed the soundtrack for The Karate Kid in 2010 along with Justin Bieber with the theme song Never Say Never peaking at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming certified 5 times platinum. Jaden's debut album came out in November of 2017 with the lead single Icon hitting number 3 on Billboard's Bubbling Under Hot 100 singles chart. A follow-up to the album, which was titled Airs, was released in July of 2019, debuting at number 12 on the Billboard Hot 200. With collaborations with artists such as J. Cole, Young Thug, Kid Cudi, and Earth Gang, Jaden's rap career has blossomed, and so far he's gotten a BET Award, an MTV Movie Award, a Teen Choice Award, and even a Grammy nomination. All of this besides his work as an entrepreneur. Jaden is a fashion icon, releasing his own line that sells everything from t-shirts to vests and hoodies, and he's listed everyone from Batman, Tyler the Creator, and Poseidon as his fashion icons. Quite an interesting choice, but nevertheless. He's also a partner with Just Water, a company that he founded at the age of 12. Just Water is looking to create a water filtration system that's cheap and also works in poor countries and regions and the company so far has its roots in the United States and the UK. Singer, rapper, philanthropist, businessman, Jaden's definitely the full package. The Karate Kid was a classic film for sure, and years later it's still a refreshing watch, with several of its characters going on to do impressive work. But it'll be fun to see how their careers take shape. Have you seen The Karate Kid, and what did you think about it? Let us know all about it in the comments section down below.